Okay, today we're going to be looking at the mean and variance of linear functions and linear combinations. We're going to start with the mean and variance of linear functions. Um, so we're just going to start with an example. I have some data values, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if I were to find the mean of that, the answer would be 3. And if I were to find the range, that would be 5 minus 1, which is 4. <clears throat> So now we're going to just take those same data values and we're going to add 7 to them. So if I take 1 and add 7, that makes 8. 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 7 would be 10. 4 plus 7 would be 11. And 5 plus 7 would be 12. <coughs> so the mean of those numbers would be 10. And the range would be 12 minus 8, which is 4. So if you compare the two, you see that the mean increased by 7, but the range stayed the same. Um, so what happens to the mean when you add the same number to each data value? Well, you um, increase the mean by that same value. All right, now we're going to see what happens when you multiply all of the data values by the same number. So we're going to multiply by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. So the mean of those numbers is going to be 9. And then the range would be 15 minus 3, which is 12. So in this case, if you multiply each data value by the same number, the mean gets multiplied by that number. Um, and so does the range this time. However, remember, nothing happened when you add a number to each data value. Okay. So now we're going to do both at the same time. So we're going to take our data value, we're going to multiply it by 3, and then we're going to add 7. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 7 is 19. 5 times 3 is 15, 15 plus 7 is 22. So the mean of this data then will be 16. And the range is going to be 22 minus 10, which is 12. So just like we saw before, um, the mean gets multiplied by the number and added. Um, but the range, only the multiplication affects it. So that's what these formulas down here show. If you are finding the mean for a linear function, um, a plus bx, you take the old mean, you multiply it by the number um, that we're multiplying by, and then we add on the constant term. However, with measures of spread, and we are usually interested in variance and standard deviation, um, the constant is just ignored, and you only multiply by the number out in front. So b squared times sigma squared of the original variable will be the new variance. And since you're taking a square root and square roots are always positive, it's the absolute value of b times the standard deviation. So we're going to go ahead and do two just very straightforward examples. If I want to find the mean and standard deviation of 5x minus 8, we'll start with the mean. So we would take 5 times our old mean minus 8. So from the table, I know that the mean of x is 8. So we're going to multiply that by 5, and then we're going to subtract 8. So 40 minus 8 is 32. And then to find the standard deviation of 5x minus 8, 
Well, we know we can ignore that minus 8. It doesn't affect the standard deviation. So it's just going to be the absolute value of 5 times the standard deviation of the x variable. So that's going to be 5 times the standard deviation is 3. So the standard deviation here would be 15. Moving on to the next problem, we're asked to find the mean and standard deviation of negative 2y plus 3. So the mean of negative 2y plus 3 is going to be equal to negative 2 times the mean of the y variable plus 3. Substituting in, we know the mean of the y variable is negative 4, and then we add 3, so it's going to be 8 plus 3, which is 11. To find the standard deviation, we get to ignore the constant that's added. It doesn't affect the standard deviation. But with this one, you need to be careful. You want to make sure you take the absolute value of the number out in front, because standard deviations are always positive. And so then we're going to have 2 times the standard deviation of y, which is also 2. And then our standard deviation for our new linear function is 4.